YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. So we are coming off a fantastic week for Palantir. So we're going to talk about the stock price predictions for October 7th through the 11th. Now, I appreciate you guys for being here. Please hit that thumbs up as we continue to grow the channel. I thank you guys. So Palantir, guys, will we be able to hold $40 per share is what this week is ultimately going to be about. So for those of you that don't know, we've got CPI numbers coming out this week. We've got PPI numbers. We've got jobless claims. We've got a lot going on. We've got some of the feds speaking this week. So it's going to be pretty volatile this week. Now, typically these weeks don't start to really pick up volatility until Thursday. But this week, we're looking at late Tuesday to really get things moving. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and let's talk about what the analysts are saying about Palantir as we go into this week. Now, Bank of America recently raised the price target on the stock to $50 from $30 and kept a buy rating on the shares for Palantir. Now, the advisory viewed Palantir's capabilities, technology, and path forward facing a fundamental misunderstanding and contended that the upcoming S&P 500 inclusion provided a watershed moment for institutional investors to revisit what they know about Palantir. Now, the company's non-conventional sales approach, where the engineers played a key role and had been highly criticized, but the advisory noted that the engineer sales bound was also a key factor to the company's pricing strategy and viewed this approach as a key differentiator to profits, robustness, especially compared to other software companies. Now, Ryan Taylor, the chief revenue officer of Palantir Technologies, highlighted during the second quarter earnings call that the revenue expectations from AI infrastructure build out have grown from $200 billion to 600 billion per year in just nine months, noting that his firm was uniquely positioned to take advantage of this as it delivered enterprise AI solutions on a scale unlike any other firm. Now, most of whom were still testing AI prototypes and had not started large scale production on products, a significant barrier to entry in the AI universe. Now, from this perspective, guys, we can see that some of these heavy uh, weighted institutions like your Bank of America are super bullish on Palantir. And so to have a price target of $50 per share is, is really good, right? And I'm not necessarily saying that Palantir is going to get to $50 even anytime soon. It could. Who knows? We'll, we'll have to just see. But to have that type of belief in a company like Palantir this early on is pretty substantial to this point. Now, one thing I want to do before we get into the stock price predictions is take a look at who the institutional investors are of Palantir. So top on the list, which is no surprise of top institutional holders, we've got Vanguard. Okay, they've got 201 million shares and then next we've got blackrock at 119 million shares you got state street corporation with 42 million uh renaissance technology has 39 million and then look at morgan stanley they've got a pretty modest for them 20.74 million shares and so although um bank of america is super bullish on them i'm not sure that the amount of shares they have kind of really lines up with what what they're they're stating. So for me, I would need to see them on the top institutional holders list to really buy what they're saying. Now, I'm not saying that some of these other players don't view Palantir in the shorter term as a fifty dollar per share, uh, you know, price. But for me, I would want to see them a little bit higher on this institutional list uh, before they start talking like this. But we know that the last reported date was June 30th. 
And so maybe when the next batch is updated, we'll see Bank of America on that list. But as of right now, they're not even in the top, what is this, 10 holders of, of Palantir. So for me, I, I like to see what you say lined up to what reality actually is as, as far as them being uh, investors. Now, I'm not saying that what they're saying doesn't match the overall sentiment of Palantir, but for me, I would want to see them talk to talk and be in the top 10. Now, as far as the stock price for this week, when we look at Palantir, I think one of the most important keys for Palantir is really not to go under $39.50. I think if we can kind of maintain a little strength there, that would speak volumes, especially as we're going into a very volatile week this week. Okay. So there may be times when we come underneath $39.50, maybe even touch $39. But at that particular point, we'll know it's real if there's going to be some buying at those particular levels. Or could this be a potential week where Palantir has some selling off, right? So when I say that, obviously, guys, people are buy stocks because they want to make money. Maybe some short timers could potentially be wanting to take profit, especially if they got in this thing at $8, $17, or even $20. Now, for those of you that are long-term like me, I'm not going to be really swayed by a $40 per share of Palantir stock, but hey, whatever strategies you have, you stick to them. But the only thing about that is if you're going to go out, what's going to be your entry point if you decide you want to come back in? And for instance, if you say, well, I'll buy it again at 30, what if it never goes back to 30? So you guys have to keep that in mind. Okay. Now, as far as uh, the peak for this week, obviously we would need to retest $40.27. Hey, if we're able to turn that into a strong level of support, the sky's the limit, maybe we go on the test $40.50, maybe $41, maybe $41.50. Now, if another partnership or some sort of great news comes out, maybe we could even see $42, $42.50. So, uh, really to, to close out the rest of the year, I know the analysts have some speculation on, you know, this thing getting to $45. And then you've got super bulls like Bank of America talking about a $50 per share. Hey, I'm all for it if that happens. But uh, for me, like I said in the previous video, uh, my modest take to kind of end the year out is $42.50. And that's only because of so much that's going on. Uh, the the presidential elections, other geopolitical issues, uh, possible war breakouts, and, and, uh, and other things that are going on, okay? So this is my take on Palantir for this upcoming week. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you. Please hit that thumbs up, and we're out, guys. Peace.